Hey, what's, what's wrong with this magazine? It's not working right. Is my poker working? Yep. Just this, there's something, this, uh, this iPad is broken. Hey kids, parents, and everybody else. Trace here for D News with some insight into the evils of the screens around you. A study was released this week in the Archives of Disease and Childhood that states it's completely okay for your kid to watch more than three hours of TV a day. How do you feel about that? According to Nielsen's cross-platform report from March this year, we are watching about 34 hours of TV per week as it is. That's 4.85 hours a day. That just seems bad. Experts are split on the matter, especially when you add touchscreen phones and tablets into the mix. The problem with screen devices and their effect on development is a child born the same day the iPhone came out would only be five years and eight months old. The iPad only came out in 2010, and psychologists need like three to five years before they can formulate any kind of real strategy. Social interaction is really what children need. Regardless of your agreed upon level of television and screen exposure, all researchers agree that parents need to be present and available. That means turning your phone off when you're hanging out with your kids, not using the iPad as a babysitter, but as a teacher and learn alongside your children. The consensus seems to be that prior to age two, children should have no access to screens, none, no touchy. No touch. We adults love our screen devices, but we're not craving to understand how interaction works. Babies are craving that. From birth to age three, the number of synapses in the brain grows from 2,500 to over 15,000, and interactive doesn't mean educational. From two to 12 and up, kids learn how to understand cues and symbols. They learn operational logic, and they start to grasp abstract thought. And that is where a screen can actually help kids learn these concepts. These devices and screens can be good for development. 77% of parents said their iPad helped their children improve their vocabulary, but without the parent being present and interacting, the whole thing goes to pot. The problem with screen devices is that they're two-dimensional. Adults already understand texture. We understand shadow and smell and shape and weight and all that other stuff, but kids need to grasp these concepts. Literally, they've got to grasp them. And that's why playing with plastic toys and blocks is good for kids. It helps babies and children learn the physical world around them, and a touch screen only pretends to be that real world. What do you think? Are kids getting too much screen time or too little screen time? Share your thoughts down in the comments, unless, of course, you're under two years old, and then what are you doing here? Go play with some blocks. Thanks for tuning in to D News today. Subscribe so you don't miss any of our shows. And find us on Twitter at D News and Facebook and Google Plus as well. I'm Trace. Thanks again. See you next time.